Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to control your DAW from your mini tiny key step. And remember, our goal is to do the multi-track recording control purely from your key step without touching a single button of your computer so that you can finish recording the whole track without moving your fingers off from your keyboard. The first thing you should know is that in order to control your DAW remotely from your keyboard, you have to have something that sends MIDI signals or MIDI CCs, either a button or a knob or a slider or something like that. So if you take a look at your key step, right? These knobs, these three knobs, together with this switch, unfortunately, they don't send any MIDI signals, okay? And, and the same thing for this button, right? These things don't send MIDI signals, okay? So if you take a further look at these three buttons, however, they by default send MMMC control signals. MMMC stands for MIDI machine control, and uh, usually it is used to control peripheral devices like a tape recorder. Um, most DAWs like uh, Logic or Ableton Live do handle MMC messages, but they can only send MMC control signals rather than receiving them. So you have two devices, right? Your key step and your DAW both sending MMC messages, then that don't make sense, okay? But Alteria do offers you an option to change that behavior. If you hook up your MIDI control center and navigate to a section called the Trans Transport setting, you can see there's an item called the transport mode, which defaults to MMC. And if you change that to MIDI CC and Vola, you can now choose which MIDI channel and which MIDI CC number the three buttons goes to. I don't count your chickens right now, okay? Because unfortunately, these three buttons function as the transport control of the internal sequencer built in to the key step, right? And if you play around these three transport buttons back and forth for a while, you will end up recording something into the built-in sequencer. And that will mess up with your recording into your DAW, right? Unfortunately, you don't have any option in the MIDI control center to actually disable the built-in sequencer. So I'm thinking, what else can we do, right? So in Ableton Live, as well as other DAWs, one of the cool features is that you can use not only MIDI CC signals, but also MIDI nodes to do the MIDI mapping, okay? So if you take a look at your key step, you have 16 MIDI channels available. 1, 2, 16, right over here, right? And if you assign one of the MIDI channels, let's say channel 16, and use MIDI nodes from that channel to control the function of your DAW, so you are good to go. Switch to MIDI channel 16 and all these keys become controllers now. And you can use them to control, let's say, transport functions of your DAW, right? And by now, we are still left with a further question. How to switch tracks during the recording session, okay? And the same principle applies. We can specify for each track a different MIDI channel. 
The way to change media channels may be different across DAWs. Let's take Ableton Live for instance. If you look down right over here, there is a box which says all channels. And you choose a specific MIDI channel for each and every of the tracks. For instance, track 1 to MIDI channel 1, track 2 to MIDI channel 2. And be sure not to left any track with MIDI channel all channels. Because that way the track will be receiving MIDI messages from all MIDI channels. And that is clearly not what we want. And during a recording session, you can choose which track you want to record into by selecting different MIDI channels. And this is done by pressing Shift plus the MIDI channel key is right over here, right? So that's it. If you want to see a demonstration of this setup, please go back to the beginning of this video where I uh, do a multi-track recording session with controls purely from your key step, okay? So that's all for today's video, and I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, see ya!